Hi, and welcome to Doctors Financial. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, my name is Dr. V. In this video, I'm going to be going over Neo's upcoming earnings and a way to play it in order to get the stock for a cheaper price. Definitely stick around for that. You're going to like what you see, and it's going to show you what I'm going to be doing in my upcoming videos, the 10K Wheel Option Challenge. I'm going to be showing you all uh, exactly how to get started with that. Also, I'm going to be talking about Cassava Sciences, ticker symbol S-A-V-A. I brought them up over a month ago on this channel. They had a nice little drop. Now they're making their run back up. I'm going to show you what I did and how I'm doing in the stock now. Also, before we get started, I kindly ask, hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out and it gives me a lot of support. Also, comment down below. I love hearing from you all. And most of all, share this with others. I'm almost at 100 subscribers. That's that first milestone. I'm looking forward to reaching it sometime soon and starting that $10,000 option wheel challenge next month. Okay, let's get into it. If you're new to the channel, I just want to let you know I talk about NEO often. If you've been rocking with me for a while, you know that this is one of my favorite companies. They are continuing to solidify themselves as a solid player in the electric vehicle space. Now, they have their earnings on tomorrow after the market closes. And whether they hit, miss, or uh, beat their earnings, I'm expecting a pullback because that's the trend that it's usually been having. Now, they have an EPS estimate of 81 cent per share loss, and they have a revenue estimate of 6.84 billion. Let's see what they do. Now, how can we play this with me anticipating that it's gonna be a loss? And how can we play this in order to get the uh, shares at a cheaper price? Let's quickly, Go to the options table. Now, we can go to the options and let's look at the put options and what they're going for. And let's look at what they'll be, not this Friday, but next week, Friday, May 7th, in anticipation of a pullback. So here we are. And let's say we sell this $38 put. If there's a slight pullback on tomorrow or Friday, then that price would be a little bit more. So if you were to sell the put option, a covered put or a cash secure put, whatever you want to, however you uh, call it, at $3,800, that's, that's the cash you would need to have available in your account, you would get $75 for that or 75 cents times 100 shares, $75. If at the time on May 7th, it's the strike price hasn't reached thirty eight dollars. You you keep the you keep the whole seventy five. If it's thirty eight or below, you may be assigned, and if you are, you would get a hundred shares of Neo at that thirty eight uh, dollar strike price or thirty eight hundred dollars. But it's actually a little uh, cheaper because you had the seventy five dollar premium, so it would really be thirty seven dollars and twenty five cents. And that's a way to play it, anticipating that Neo is going to pull back to get the stock at a, a better price. Now, if it doesn't pull back, like I said, and it continues to go up, you just pocket the seventy-five dollars, and guess what? You can sell the uh, you can sell the put again and again. You can keep selling the puts until you are assigned. Now, once you are assigned, guess what you do then? What I'm always talking about on the channel, you sell the covered call. And once you do that, guess what? You just did the wheel option strategy. It's just that simple. Now, once I begin to do it and show you guys, show, show it to you guys in real time, it's gonna be lots of fun. You're gonna uh, see me uh, doing my thinking and we're just gonna have some fun with it. Um, Neo is probably gonna be one of the companies I start with. I'm thinking about doing it with actually three different companies. A company with moderate risk, uh, like Neo. A company with super high risk, uh, probably something that's very near a penny stock. And then a company with minimal risk, 
uh, maybe something like AT&T. I may actually run three different uh, wheel option strategies at the same time, just to show you guys with how three different companies, how the risk reward uh, scenario would play out. That's just something I'm thinking about. I'm definitely gonna do the wheel option strategy, but I'm just thinking about ways to make it more exciting and make it more fun. Okay, let's get into the next company I wanted to talk about, Cassava Sciences. And that would be ticker symbol S-A-V-A. -A. And when I brought this up, it was on March 18th, right after the March 17th pop. It actually dropped on that day, 10% and it just kept sliding down. Now, you can go to that March 18th video to get more information about exactly what they do. I'll give you guys a brief rundown on Cassava Sciences. They're a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company that's developing treatments for Alzheimer's disease, which is very important. Now they're not, since they reached their low, they're having a nice uh, run back up and currently up over 4, 46% since that low which is great. Now, because I am I have high conviction in the company, I believe in what they're doing, I didn't panic as they were falling. I was dip buying, building out my position to where I had over 100 shares, and then I placed a covered call on it. Now I have the covered call on Saba uh, super high. I have it set at 75. So if I do, $75, so if I do get a sign, I'll be making a nice profit. And if I don't, I'll cons I'll just sell another uh, covered call. I have a, a May 21st expiration date. So let's see how that goes with my covered calls in Saba. Now let's get into some of the news with Cassava Sciences that I really like here in Riahu Finance. I'm not gonna go deep into it, but some of the things I want to show you all that's going on with the company. Uh, B. Riley, they have a huge bullish call. They're going to be speaking at the B. Riley Securities Neuroscience Conference. But the big one that I like, they've been invited by the NIH. And if you don't know who the NIH is, that's the National Institute of Health. That's the uh, federal or the government body that gives all of the huge grants to uh, emerging healthcare companies to emerging biotech companies. So once you are noticed by NIH and you start getting a lot of that NIH money, it's only up from there. I remember when I was in Moderna, a ticker symbol MRNA really early, and they started getting some of that NIH money, how they just shot up. Not saying that Sava is gonna do the same thing, but I'm just putting that on your radar and I'm just putting this company on your radar. If you want to know more about the company, you can go to that March 18th video and check out what I said about uh, Cassava Sciences. If you let's take a quick look at some of the price targets. So we can see here, and let's go to tip ranks. I always like using tip ranks for the price targets. We're looking at an 85% upside for that medium price target. And $110 is over 100% upside from the price that it is now. Even at the low, that's a huge gain from $47.10 to $72. So, Keep your eye on Sava, S-A-V-A. Definitely have it on your watch list. Do your own due diligence. I'm not a financial advisor, but I do like this company. Do your own due diligence. And uh, if you like the company, do what, do what you need to do in order to get you a few shares to get in. Comment down below if, you, uh, if you've heard of Sava, if you're in Sava, or if Sava interests you at all. And any other stocks that may interest you. Comment down below and let me hear from you. Okay, family, thank you for rocking with me through another video. If you're getting anything from the videos, kindly hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Most of all, share this with others. 
It really helps me out. I want to end this video with a prayer. And if you would like, you can pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for all you have done for us. Continue to bless us with wisdom and knowledge so that we can excel in the stock market, Lord God. Bless our finances, Heavenly Father, and help us to be good stewards with all that you give us. Bless us with generational wealth for years and generations to come. Let us be financially free and have financial independence in our lives and the lives of our family. May our cups run it over. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Family, be blessed.